Hello. Good morning. Right. Oh, thank you. Good morning. How are you? Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm good. I'm very good. Uh, how are you? I'm um, great. Welcome to everyone who's unique. Thank you very much. My sure, pleasure. My pleasure. So uh, you're a photographer and a great drone photographer, basically. So what I would like to talk about today is your journey as a drone photographer. So my first question is, how did you become interested in photography in general and drone photography in particular? Well, that's a good, very good question. Uh, I'm getting interested and involved with photography, I think, when I was 18 years old. Oh, so that's okay. almost 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, because my mother was a flight attendant, <gasps> so she traveled the world a lot. Um, and my dad, he lives in the United States, or he studied mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Um, so I get involved in 2010 okay. when me and my family, so my dad, my mom and my sister went to Thailand, Malaysia and Bali in Indonesia. Uh -huh. And then at that moment, I bring my, um, yeah, camera, my DSLR, mm -hmm. uh, to the, yeah, to the other side of the world. Sure. Um, yeah. So from that moment, I know oh, it's nice to capture mostly people landscapes uh yeah cityscapes uh, like basically holiday pictures yeah exactly <laughs> it was very low level if i look back in my um yeah my my discs mm -hmm. it's like very low almost <laughs> all pictures are waste <laughs> waste of pictures but from that point yeah i know it's nice uh, it's a hobby mm -hmm. And um, yeah, then I went to um, Argentina in mm -hmm. 2012. Okay. It was my internship. Mm, interesting. Uh, so I bring my camera back. It was like uh, the body and two lenses. So it was more professional. Sure. <laughs> yeah. And, Out of the uh, holiday pictures. <laughs> yeah, but it was like not holiday pictures anymore, but a little bit higher level sure um yeah then most of the travels i did by myself because i like to travel by myself sure uh, because i get the time of taking pictures and yeah. to plan it fair enough um about the drone um i bought my fair first drone in 2018 so three years ago sure three years ago wow because when I'm traveling and I'm sitting in the plane and I'm looking outside of the window, everything looks so small and more yeah. interesting. Yeah. So from that point and uh, that moment, I, I thought, well, wow, uh, if you look up with a, a camera, you see a bird perspective. Exactly. So everything looks much better. Yeah. Uh, so for example, my famous uh, Barcelona pictures from above yeah they look so organized so yeah but like box, if, box 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 yeah but if you look in the city just normally walking on the street you don't recognize it's all blocks yeah exactly and that's so, organized yeah very organized yeah. so if you um if, if i fly my drone up then you see the nice architecture and all the structure of the city yeah. And from that mo in that moment, I know, wow, this is great business and so much nicer than you see yeah, from my perspective. Sure, it is. Yeah. So let's talk about your skills. So you've been like a photographer working on the land, uh, actually taking pictures of things in the eye level. So how is mm -hmm. it different, like this type of photography from being a drone photographer? Uh, no, I think when you have your... Uh, DSLR cam camera, uh, it's like you have to know um, yeah, a lot of uh, skills and uh, how to use it, which techniques, uh, which which day you shoot, what what time of the day. Uh, so yeah, every everybody can can use uh, a camera, but if you um, buy a drone, you have to yeah have, have other skills. Sure. Um, so for example. Um, the European uh, rules, 
mm-hmm. they uh, they have new rules for from first of January, so a month ago. Okay. So it's for everybody has to be a cert- certificate mm-hmm. uh, doing his exam. Uh, you, have, uh, you have to do a lot of paperwork. Oh, okay. So if you don't have that, you fly illegal. Oh. So you have to be papers and an insurance and a lot of paperwork sure. uh, to fly legal in <laughs> Europe, especially in Holland. Interesting. So that's that was the most uh, yeah the most big difference. Sure. But the other the other point is. In Holland, where I live, mostly you can't fly your drone because there are a lot of, uh, yeah, we call it control areas, mm-hmm. CTR. Okay. Uh, because you have uh, a lot of airports, you have uh, government buildings, you have uh, nature parks, you have zoos, you have uh, yeah, uh, parliament buildings uh, where the king and the queen lives. It's almost impossible to fly your drone in the Netherlands. You have to do a lot of research before you fly sure. and to make a plan to fly your drone. Yeah, not to get into any trouble. <laughs> yeah. So, for example, eh, if you fly in Dubai your drone, it's illegal. And if you yeah you get arrested by police, you can go in jail. Oh. That's possible. Oh. Yeah. And you've received some awards, you've been to some exhibitions, so would you like to talk about them? Oh, well, um, m- mostly on my first award, it was uh, taken in India. I've been seven times to India oh, wow. for, for work uh, okay. as a hockey coach. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was there teaching hockey coaches in India, oh. mostly in local village. Oh, nice. Um, so I took there one picture. Mm-hmm. It was in uh, in north east of India. North east, okay. In Simdega, Simdega, oh, okay. in the district Jharkhand. Okay. And uh, there was a big hockey festival there, oh. um, running by us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I was like coordinating, and I was walk- yeah, walking there with my camera, and I saw so many happy faces and small girls in soccer jerseys <laughs> like Barcelona and all famous players and they are running yeah running to the next exercise mm-hmm. and I took that picture picture mm-hmm. and uh, when I look in my screen in my camera I said wow I think this is a great picture so when I'm back at my hotel I start editing in Lightroom or Photoshop and then I put it online, and uh, then I was invited by, um, yeah, like 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 an uh, uh, run of art, like an art contest. Oh, okay. Uh, and I became their uh, second, mm. and uh, the photo was um, uh, was showed in the um, in New York in the United Nations. <gasps> Wow, that's a big achievement. Yeah, my most proud picture, I think. Oh, amazing. I think it's number one. <laughs> oh, sweet. So I wanted to ask you about your most favorite photo. So now I know it. It's still if, if you if you look yeah, but if you look at my Instagram, it's most of the pictures are uh, from above with the yeah. drone or cityscapes or landscapes or architecture architecture. It's not like this. It's completely yeah, yeah. different. So, um, what are your plans for the future? So, right now, you're in lockdown in the Netherlands. So, there are some restrictions uh, in regards yes. to traveling. So, what are some places that you would like to go? What are your next destinations? Uh, that's, <laughs> that's a bit of a, yeah, a, a sickness of me. Because uh, if I have the time, I would like to go everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> but now, because now i've made a short a, a list uh-huh. first destination in europe would be paris because paris is also very nice from above mm-hmm. a destination in asia is hong kong <laughs> oh interesting <laughs> amazing i've been now four times to hong kong uh-huh. but it's 
still my favorite city uh, in combination with the landscapes, with the food, with the people, with everything in Hong Kong is like big. It's very mm -hmm. big. Mm -hmm. um, I know there are also some friends. Uh, I have a full list of places which <laughs> I would like to photograph. Yeah, sure. Uh, Gran Canaria, it's like in the south of Spain. It's uh -huh. a small island. Okay. Um, Seville, Sevilla, Sevilla in, mm -hmm. in the south of Spain. Okay. Uh, Scotland, mm. on the west coast of the um, United Kingdom. Sure. And uh, a small island on the west coast of Italy. Okay. So that are the places, but number one is Paris and Hong Kong. Oh, sure, sure. That's the beauty of drone photography. You can go anywhere in the world and you can capture beautiful pictures. So that's, um, that makes sense that you have like a little options. So. Oh, well, I, that, that's also what I do now because now I, I can't travel or on the road. So I prepare everything uh, in detail. So I show you <laughs> what I do. And that's, I think, also nice in the interview for other people. Sure. If you see my, my maps, I paint <laughs> it with pins. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're blue pins and green pins. Yeah. So, for example, if you go, this is Hong Kong, eh, the blue okay. pin. Uh-huh. So if I zoom in. All pins in Hong Kong. <laughs> you have pinned all the places that you want to go. Exactly. So that makes it way more easier to eh, book a the, book an air ticket. Absolutely. Buy ticket, um, arrival, and go to this kind of spots. Shoot, go to the next one. Uh, interesting. This takes the most. Uh, this takes most of time, like yeah. preparing everything in detail and researching them all to make sure that they're the right places to take pictures of. Exactly. And uh, research, it takes like hours and hours for each city. I look on Google Maps and Google Earth. Uh, yeah, it takes hours. Oh, okay. So you research like any resources that shows that area from above so that you can have an idea of what it looks like and what exactly. you want it to look like. Exactly. For so example, it needs a lot of imagination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you, for example, if you go to Google Earth, you can... Uh, uh, fill in Hong Kong or uh, Dubai or Paris, and then you see the city from above. Yeah. But you can also see it in uh, uh, 3D, 3D, so yeah, like when yeah, the building. Yeah. yeah. So it makes much more easier. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Look and to do to do a lot of research. Sure. That's for me one of the best parts, or or, or eh, of, of traveling, just the the, the yeah. research. Exactly. That's part of the joy <laughs> to kind of yeah, get the joy excited. Of my journey. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Beautiful. And my last question would be, which countries have you been to? Oh, that's a very good question. Um, well, I've been to South America, to um, Argentina, Canada and the United States, mm -hmm. Iceland, uh, United Kingdom, uh, mostly all places in Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, Spain, Italy, uh, Germany, uh, France, Belgium, Luxembourg, uh, Turkey, Zambia in the south of Africa, mm -hmm. yeah. um, uh, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, um, yeah, in Asia like uh, yeah, China, Philippines, Vietnam, Cambodia, Malaysia, Indonesia, Hong Kong, Taiwan, uh, Japan, Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you have a favorite? Yeah. Uh, Myanmar on number one, India number two, and I think Argentina mm -hmm. because it was my first solo trip. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My that's that's countries. My favorite city is Hong Kong. Wow. Sure. Okay. So um, it was great talking to you. So thanks a lot for sharing your story. I very much Thank enjoyed our conversation, and thanks for being on. Everyone is unique. Thank you very much. It was my pleasure, Zoa. <laughs> sure, my pleasure. So take care. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.